Hello my friends of Catray Labs, my name is Roman Toya. Uh, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to do a geospatial representation of the drone imagery camera coordinates. I mean where the camera was located, the position of the camera of a drone flight. And then we are going to do that with Python and Folium in Python. We are going to do that in Python. Uh, here we have uh, some you are going to receive in the description of the video the zipped version of this. Actually, you are not going to to see the whole the whole data set because it's too heavy. You are going to receive maybe two or three. Okay, but you uh, the purpose is that you can reproduce the concepts here. Okay, so let's start. Let's see Anaconda Prom. And uh, here see the documents because uh, the the file the files please download and then zip it in documents. See documents see the geospatial representation. Okay, type dir type dir. Okay, you should see that. Okay, for that for this tutorial we need a geospatial conda environment. Okay. Uh, that is available under another tutorial. So it's a conda in list. And uh, here we have an environment that is GeoHatari. Okay. And so yeah, remember the, there is a tutorial, another tutorial on that to create to create the environment. Okay. And then we are going to activate that environment here. Okay. And then say Jupiter Lab, Jupiter Lab. Okay, great. So here we have the plots, and then here we uh, here we have the scripts. Okay, and then here we have the image, and and here I can show you one image. Okay, so. Uh, but I want to know which was the direction of the flight, and I want to know as well because uh, which was the name, I mean, of a given point, which was the name on that. You are going, uh, I want to see where the camera was located and somehow to see which was the area that was covered by the flight, by the drone flight. So let's see. And for that, we are going to work with some two to package that is uh, PyExif and Folium. If you don't, uh, PyExif is the one that the package, uh, the exif data is the metadata of an image, okay, and is where the camera, the camera coordinates are located, okay. And Folium is for the geospatial representation, okay. You just, I mean, the pip install you just have to run it once because, uh, okay, so. Once you have installed it, you just can see it. We are going to import volume, uh, NumPy, Pandas, XFIS. Okay. We open the folder, we list the folder, then we filter because we just want the values. We just want the, the files that are GPG. Okay. Because if there is a, any dir or like any temporal file, we are not interested in that. So this is just a filter by as a list comprehension. Then for one file, we open the file. Okay, we get the path of the file. We open the file. We turn into a, a exif image object, and then we get all the labels because the geospatial representation is not. The, the GPS coordinates is not the only metadata of an image. There is another other data. Okay, and then we can. There are four uh, records that interest to us. There is the latitude, latitude and longitude, but these are at any times positive. Okay, and then then it tells you the reference of the latitude and the reference on longitude. Then this is south or west or east or no and is. <laughs> Sorry, east or west and south of north. Yeah, okay. So we run it. Okay, and then we get we have here a formula that for an image it extracts the latitude, it extracts the reference, and it creates because the 
the GPS uh, comes in this strange format that says this is the degree, this is the minutes, and this is the seconds. And this one we have to divide it by 60. In order to create the decimal number of that, we have to create, divide this by 60, and then we have to divide this by 3,600. Okay. And then if we are located in the southern hemisphere, it will be the coordinate will be negative. If we are located in the western part of the world, the coordinate will the longitude will be negative as well. So we run this, okay, and then we for the first image we get the chords, okay. Mm -hmm. And this is the course of the first image. And then for the all other image, what we do is a for loop. Uh, but first we create the a data frame and then we store this on a data frame because we are also interested in storing the the image name as well that is the index okay let's wait a little bit okay so this is the index and then with volume we can well first we create the volume map where, where we have to give a reference of a mean, lat, and long, long that we uh, uh -huh. because in this case, yeah, so this is a data frame dot lat dot mean, yeah, because at the, at the beginning we tf dot long dot mean okay okay and then I'm kernel I am going to restart all of that because I want to ensure yeah because uh first um the first attempt I did it as a numpy array but then I changed it to a panda data frame let okay yes okay that works great so this is the flight okay this is the flight and and okay this is the ones that create the map okay and this is the part that over each row of the over each row of the data frame we create or, or i mean over each image we create a circle maker on the on the location where we do the pop-up will be the index of the image so what does it mean so, for example, if I want to see which is this one, this is the 807. So here I go to the image. This is the 807, and this is the image that we have selected. Okay. And as well, for for example, for this, and then we can explore those images, and then here we have like a view of all the image available on a coming tutorial what we are going to do is we are going to clip this data set because we are more interested in some image uh, in the image of a certain field instead of processing all the image because in order to be in order because uh to be effective and whether to be effective and to reduce and to have an image of all the the olives because these are olives that are inside the property we are not interested in in sampling uh, ones that are outside that property okay so this is the tutorial uh all the code will be on the description below and don't forget to subscribe share and it was a pleasure to to give you this tutorial and we hope that we can see you in another tutorials webinars and so have a great day bye bye bye